This morning and over the weekend, apparently after watching Fox, the president fired off a string of tweets. These on Saturday, quote, wow, at Fox News just reporting big news. Source, official behind unmasking is high up. Known intel official is responsible. Some unmasked, he continues, not associated with Russia. Trump team spied on before he was nominated. If this is true, the president went on to say, does not get much bigger, would be sad for U.S. Then yesterday, more tweets, including this. The real story turns out to be surveillance and leaking. Find the leakers. And finally, this morning, at Fox News, from multiple sources, there was electronic surveillance of Trump and people close to Trump. This is unprecedented. Now, all of that sounds very ominous, but by now, it shouldn't be any surprise to learn that there appears to be far less here than the President of the United States would have us believe. Jim Shudo joins us for tonight's Keep It Honest report. So let's start with the, the unmasking that the President mentioned. What's the latest on that? Well, just a short time ago, I spoke with someone close to Ambassador Rice, and this is the first comment from someone close to Rice today on these allegations. I'll read it uh, in quotes. Uh, the idea that Ambassador Rice improperly sought the identities of Americans is false. There is nothing unusual about making these requests when serving as a senior national security official, whether Democrat or Republican. That coming from someone who works for Ambassador Rice. But, but let's go beyond that, because I spoke today with senior, former senior U.S. intelligence officials, the senior most, who served both Republican and Democratic administrations. And this is what they've told me about this story. They said, one, this is not unusual. This happens, uh, that, that when you are briefed on intelligence communications like this, sometimes senior national security officials can ask the intelligence community to identify the Americans either mentioned uh, in those conversations or on the other side of those phone calls. It's not up to that senior U.S. national security official to make that de decision. It's then up to the intelligence agencies, to the NSA. They decide what's appropriate to then unmask for that senior official. It is legal. There are protocols that have been put in place since 9-11 to allow this to happen. And I'm told that it is very meticulously logged. Someone said to me, described it's like, it's like Catholic baptismal records. It's, it's so well logged. You can't do this in secret, and you have to do it with the approval of the intelligence community. And finally, Anderson, I would just say, why would someone do this? Every day they're getting briefings on intelligence. Their briefer chooses what they're briefed on, including Ambassador Rice. In those briefings, an, an official such as Rice might say, to, to further understand it, I'd like to know who those names are, uh, and that's why they would make that request, which then, as I said, has to be approved by the intelligence community.